using Amara to caption your YouTube and other online videos. First, you'll need to create an Amara account or sign in using one of these accounts. Once you've signed in and are ready to caption a video, follow these steps. First, find a video on YouTube. Copy the link to the video and then go to www.universalsubtitles.org. Paste the video link under Subtitle a Video Now and hit Subtitle. You'll be taken to the subtitle workspace for the video. To add or edit the caption, first select the Subtitle Me option underneath the video. Select the language of the video and then select the language for the captions, then hit continue. There's a quick tutorial that you can watch and then you can just hit continue. The first step, typing, is where you'll enter the captions for the video. There are quick and simple instructions here at the top right hand corner to help you get started. These buttons here Play or rewind the video by 4 seconds to help you continue typing or correct the captions. Here in speed mode, you'll see that there are three different play settings. The default is set to beginner, where it plays for 4 seconds and pauses to allow you to catch up. Say I want to caption this segment. I'll simply start playing the video by pressing tab on my keyboard or by pressing this green button. Kayla's enjoying its time in the spotlight. I'll enter the captions into the text box as I hear them on the video. Once just used as a garnish, it's now everyone's favorite healthy green. You'll see that as I type the text, another line begins for the captions. I'd like to keep the captions at one line, so I'm going to delete this last word and press enter to type in a new line. And raw kale has become a star addition to salads. If I want to rewind, I can press shift and tab. And raw kale has become a star addition to salads. Or just click this blue button. Recommended mode will pause and play the video as you type. If I start typing here, the video will play. We love the bright, nutty flavor of the uncooked vegetable, but unless we're using baby kale, which is hard to find, its texture can be a little tough. When I stop, the video also stops. In expert mode, the video only pauses when you press the tab. If you're an expert typist, this is the speed mode for you which is hard to find, its texture can be a little tough. Here's the Test Kitchen's favorite way to tenderize these greens without using heat. If you'd like to start over, click on Restart This Step to start over on any of the steps in the captioning process. The second step, Sync, is where you will sync the captions to the video. Press the play button to start, and then tap the purple button for each line or lines of caption that you have. Kale is enjoying its time in the spotlight. Once just used as a garnish, it's now everyone's favorite healthy green. And raw kale has become a star addition to salads. Once you're done syncing the captions to the video, go to the next step, which is subtitle info. Here, you can edit the title and description. By default, the title and description of the original video is added to these fields. Press this button to continue to the final step, which is to check your work. You can drag the video timeline to adjust the timing of the captions and edit the caption themselves by clicking on each line. To finish, click Submit Your Work. You'll be asked to verify that the entire video has been captioned. Select OK. Now you can see that the video has been captioned and is available for viewers. Kale is enjoying its time in the spotlight. Once just used as a garnish, it's now everyone's favorite healthy green. 
Now you can add a link to the video in your course by copying the URL and going to your Blackboard course and choosing Build Content Web Link and then putting in a name and pasting that URL. Now you have a link to a captioned video from YouTube available in your course. This concludes the Amara tutorial. Happy captioning!